Now, Thanks, Peggy. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for coming to our research webinar on Introduction to Newspaper Research. My name is Saima, and I'm a reference librarian here at the Texas State Library and Archives Commission, or TSLAC for short. In this webinar, we'll talk about how to find and use newspapers for your genealogy and historical research. We'll start with an overview of what information is available within historical newspapers. We'll look at finding print and microfilm newspapers in library collections, including newspapers at TSLAC. We'll finish up with where you'll find newspaper databases and directories online and go over some searching tips. And then we'll have some time for a few questions at the end. Here's a little background about our agency. We are located in downtown Austin, Texas, next to the state capitol building. We are open Monday through Friday and second Saturday of each month from 9 a.m. till 4 p.m. Before getting started, we'd like to share an overview of TSLAC's mission and service areas our agency provides to Texans. Our mission is to provide Texans access to needed information to preserve the archival record of Texas, to enhance the service capacity of public, academic, and school libraries, to assist public agencies in the maintenance of their records and to meet the needing, reading needs of Texans with disabilities. Our service areas include the Reference and Information Center, the Texas State Archives, and the Sam Houston Center in Liberty, Texas. Today's webinar is part of our mission to provide Texans access to needed information, and in particular, information that helps you find records that we preserve. Okay, let's get started with an overview of historical newspapers. So what's in a newspaper? Newspapers are a snapshot into what life was like in a particular time and place. Think of them as social media of their time. They can also fill in gaps in your research when official records are missing or do not contain enough information. Here's what you can expect to find. Announcements such as birth or death notices, weddings, World War I casualty lists, land sales and transactions, probate, will, and state sales. These announcements may provide details you need to request an official death certificate from a state or local records agency. They can also list ancestors' names or provide a burial location. Events. What was trending at the time? From national news, influenza epidemic, to local events, natural disasters. Family names may be listed in reporting about local happenings. You want to include local community-based newspapers in your research. Check neighborhood, ethnic, or newspapers for special organizations. Milestone events, anniversaries, awards, graduations, and the ever popular first or last baby of the year. Do keep in mind that what you want to avoid looking at historical newspapers from present day perspective, certain terms and or context may be offensive to today's researchers. Sometimes you'll need to find an actual newspaper on microfilm or print in a library, for example, for titles that are not digitized or are behind a paywall. Some libraries may be able to lend their microfilm reels to your local library through the Interlibrary Loan or ILL program. Contact your local library about ILL options. Knowing the general time and place of an event can make it easier to request newspapers from libraries. Microform readers connected to a PC make it easy to print or save digital copies from microfilm. Check with your library about their equipment and policies or about any remote copy or scanning services they may offer. Sometimes loose newspaper clippings will be found in vertical files, but these could be organized by family names and places instead of a specific newspaper title. Vertical files could also be listed on a library's website or they may be listed in a catalog. Also, some archival collections may include newspaper clippings. Contact us for more information. Overview of microfilm and print newspaper collections at the Texas State Library begin with the newspaper research guide on our website, which we will look at shortly. We provide access to newspapers in three formats, 
original, microfilm, and online. The Briscoe Center at the University of Texas at Austin also manages a large microfilm and print collection of Texas newspapers. Contact the center directly for information about their collections and services. You can also search OCLC WorldCat, which is a catalog of library collections worldwide, to find newspapers in libraries closest to you. Some libraries will lend their microfilm, so check with your local library to arrange a loan if you find available titles but can't visit the library in person. Okay, now back to our website. You can either navigate to the newspaper research page from the homepage by clicking on archives and reference, then genealogy, or simply search for it using our search the T-SELECT site function. The left side bar allows for easy navigation to the rest of the page. Let's talk about microfilm first. Our newspapers on microfilm page lists newspapers by city and title. You may either search the text on the page to find a specific title or town or use the alphabetical anchor links to jump down the page. When you do find the newspaper you're looking for, notice the county and dates of coverage. Sometimes you'll find that newspapers are microfilmed together, as is the case with the Fort Worth Gazette and Ford Gazette. You want to make a note of it as you go through the microfilm. Also, check the online catalog for detailed info, such as dates on each microfilm reel. Original newspapers are organized similarly. To view titles and dates, click on the original newspapers hyperlink, which opens in a PDF file listing single issue print newspapers. These are listed by newspaper title but you can also search the text on this page to jump to a county or city. Do keep in mind that access might be limited due to the fragile state of some newspapers. To access original newspapers, we recommend that you make an appointment. Send us an email with the newspaper title and dates. We do not provide reproductions of original newspapers, such as scans or photocopies, but you may take non-flash photos. Digitized historical newspapers are widely available online and more titles are being digitized every day. They are often accessible from a library's online portal or a database, which is just another word for a repository or an electronic warehouse. If you are starting your research with a name or have some details about an event, you may want to begin with a keyword search online to narrow down a location or date. Online newspaper databases can include actual images of the newspapers or just the transcribed text. Databases also make it easy to save, print, or share pages and clippings that you find. Many libraries subscribe to newspaper databases and provide access on their public computers or remote access with a library account. Check with your local library about any newspaper databases they have and what areas or time periods they cover, since coverage may vary between historic and current. Purchasing your own subscription is an option if you need more coverage than what's available through your library. Newspapers.com and Newspaper Archive are popular subscription databases. Newspapers.com tends to have smaller town newspapers with fewer editions. Newspaper archive titles are mostly older, but can sometimes include larger Texas cities. Our library subscribes to the Texas editions of these databases, which means our subscription includes Texas newspapers, and some of those newspapers cover limited time periods. Ask your local library about access to these databases. Newspaper Source Plus is a database of text-only newspapers from around the world and is available to library users through the TextShare database program. Go to textshare.net to see if your library subscribes to this database and then contact your library for information about access. There are two newspaper databases that feature scanned images of newspapers and do not require a subscription or a library account to access. First, the Portal to Texas History's Texas Digital Newspaper Program hosted by the University of North Texas includes digitized images of historical and recent Texas newspapers. To search Portal's digitized newspapers, you can start with a keyword search inside the entire collection, or you may want to begin by browsing by title, date, or location. 
while on Portal, try expanding your search to all of Portal's collections to discover other materials related to your research. Chronicling America's Historic American Newspapers Collection, a joint project of the Library of Congress and the National Endowment for the Humanities, includes a collection of digitized historic American newspapers from 1789 through 1963. You can start with a quick keyword search or try an advanced search by state, title, or date. While searching newspapers online can be quicker than flipping through issues or scrolling through reels of microfilm, we want to share some tips that can help your searches be more successful. Add key terms that describe what you're looking for using the terminology from that time period. Some databases can find terms close to each other, but some will show words anywhere on the same page. For example, search for secretary instead of administrative assistant, housewife instead of homemaker. Search for different variations of names, including initials. Many times letters are transposed, especially vowels. Add and remove details to refine your results. Use quotes to search only for specific phrases. If you are searching for a female, try searching by a husband's name, if known. Optical character recognition, or OCR, a process that converts scanned images to text, is not always perfect, so your search may not pick up what's printed on a page if the scanned material was in poor condition to begin with. You may want to start browsing instead if you are not getting the results you expected. For example, lowercase i may look like the number one. Finally, don't forget to take advantage of any videos or tutorials in a database's help section. They will often have tips and tricks specific to that database. If you are tackling a broad research topic and need to know which newspapers were operating in particular time and place, or want to know more about a title, you'll want to use a newspaper directory. Chronicling America's US newspaper directory can provide detailed information about newspaper titles. You can search by keyword, newspaper location, or dates. Title listings also include frequency, like daily, weekly newspaper, coverage, and library holdings. Check with the library listed directly to confirm availability. Current newspapers may have their own archives or back issues available to view or purchase. The Texas Press Association newspapers webpage lists contact information for newspaper publishers in Texas by city, title, and by county. In summary, we covered what is available in historical newspapers. Remember to include local and ethnic newspapers as part of your research strategy, where you can find print, microfilm and online newspapers. Check with your local library, museums, or archives to see if they have newspapers more relevant to that area. And how to look for tutorials and tips by clicking on the help link for assistance inside the database or directory. Websites mentioned in this presentation are listed on the newspaper research section of our website. We hope our introduction to newspaper research has been helpful to you. For help with your research, you can contact staff here at TSLAC or the Sam Houston Center by mail, phone, or email. When contacting us, it's helpful to provide as much information as possible, like any names, dates, and city or county you are researching. Even if you only have a few details or are just starting your research, we will try to point you in the right direction. Check our website for up-to-date information on our hours and remote services. And the 2022 research webinar schedule. See you next time. Thank you.